The year it is 1927 And the day is the third day of May The town is a city called Boston And our address is Dark Dedham Jail To your honor, the Governor Fuller To the Council of Massachusetts State We bar told him of Vanzetti And Nicola Psycho do say can find to our jail here at Dedham and under the sentence of death we pray you to exercise your powers and look at the facts of our case we do not ask you for a pardon for a pardon would admit of our guilt since we are both innocent workers we have no guilt to admit we are both born by parents in Italy Can't speak English too well Our friends of labor are writing these words Back of the bars in our cell Our friends say if we speak too plain, sir We may turn your feelings away Widen these canyons between us But we risk our life to talk plain we think, sir, that each human being is in close touch with all of man's kind. Think, sir, that each human being knows right from the wrong in his mind. We talk to you here as a man, sir, even knowing our opinions divide. We didn't kill the guards at South Braintree, nor dream of such a terrible crime. We call your eye to this fact, sir. We work with our hand and our brain. These robberies and killings were done, sir, by professional banded men. Psycho has been a good cutter. Miss Psycho, their money has saved. I, Vanzetti, I could have saved money, but I gave it as fast as received. I'm a dreamer, a speaker, and a writer. I fight on the working folks' side. Psycho is Boston's fastest shoe trimmer, and he talks to the husbands and wives. We hunted your land and we found it. Hoped we'd find freedom of mind. Built up your land, this land of the free, and this is what we come to find. If we was the killer's good governor, We'd not be so dumb and so blind To pass out our handbills and make worker speeches Out here by the scene of the crime Those fifteen thousands of dollars The lawyers and judge said we took Do we, sir, dress up like a two gentlemen With that much in our pocketbook Our name's on the long list of radicals Of the federal government, sir they said that we needed watching as we peddled our literature. Judge Thayer's mind is made up, sir. When we walked into the court, well, he called us anarchistic bastards, said lots of other things worse. They brought people down there to Brockton to look through the bars of our cell made us act out the emotions of the killers and still not so many could tell before the trial ever started the jury foreman did say and he cussed us and said damn they well they'd ought to hang anyway our fatal mistake was carrying our guns about which we had to tell lies to keep the police from raiding the homes of workers believing like us. A labor paper or a picture, a letter from a radical friend, an old cheap gun like you keep around home, a torture good women and men. We all feared deporting and whipping, torments to make us confess. Place where the workers are meeting, 
the house, your name and address. Well, the officer said we feared something, which they called a consciousness of guilt. We was afraid of wrecking more homes and seeing more workers' blood spilt. Well, the very first question they asked us was not about killing the clerks, but things about our labor movement and how our trade union works. Oh, how could our jury see clearly when the lawyers and judges and cops called us low-type Italians, said we look just like regular wops. Draft dodgers, gun packers, anarchists, these vulgar-sounding names, blue dust in the eyes of the jurors, the crowd in the courtroom the same. We do not believe, sir, the torture, beatings and killings and pains, will lift man's eyes to a highest view and break his bilbos and chains. We believe that you must struggle for freedom before your freedom you'll gain. Freedom from fear, sir, and greed, sir, and your freedom to think higher things. This fight, sir, is not a new battle. We did not make it last night. Twas fought by Godwin Shelley, Piscani, Tolstoy, and Christ. It's bigger than the atoms and the sands of the desert, planets that roll in the sky, till workers get rid of their robbers. Well, it's worse, sir, to live than to die. Your Excellency, we're not asking pardon, but asking to be set free with liberty and pride, sir, and honor, and a pardon we will not receive. A pardon you give unto criminals, who've broken the laws of the land. We don't ask you for pardon, sir, because we are innocent men. Well, if you shake your head, no, dear governor, of course our doom it is sealed. We hold up our heads like two sons of men, seven years in these cells of steel. We walk down this corridor to death, sir, like workers have walked it before. But we'll work in our working class struggle. We live a thousand lives more.